I'm basically making a smoking jacket, but because smoking jackets are tailored, um, and I'm knitwear, I'm yeah. gonna knit one. I think for this one, it's gonna take... Three days? I think three, yeah. It's not like the quickest thing to do. <laughs> this is Stephen. And you're Craig's full-time assistant? Yeah. Stephen, because we were late, they, they made me do a dance. Do so I you're going to have to do yeah. a dance. <laughs> My main point of view is, like, I did the, the circles last season, mm -hmm. so I really wanted to kind of continue with that technique make this jacket out of just circles. Yeah. Just to kind of, because I enjoyed it. <laughs> so basically, instead of knitting, knitting just a plain yeah. bit of fabric yeah, that goes yeah. straight down, yeah. as I'm knitting it, I'm shaping it so it kind of yeah. curls around. I'm knitting half the circle at a time, so that'll be the length of the yeah. skirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's knitwear with a different opinion. Ah, oh, experimental, that's the word. No, that's my first one. What are you doing with it now? Passing it on to okay. Stephen. <laughs> it's kind of nice working in a clean space for once. Because my studio is always a mess. Is it just normally you and Stephen? Depending yeah, on the time. Minute. It's always good to have like somebody to work with because you can just get so narrow-minded and just obsessed. We're just making. We're going to make it a little crop toppy. The top half is going to be little circles, and then the bottom half. We're gonna just do one one big massive circle there and then yeah. fold it back. So it has a nice pattern to it. Yeah. It's like I'll I'll knit something and then we'll play around with it. Basically he'll wear it and mm -hmm. try and dress up in it. And then So I think in that way I think he does see things differently to me, because I'll be making a big a big like big circle thing. And then I'll be sticking up here and making it into a big cardigan type yeah. thing. So Stephen will put it around his, wrap it around his legs and try and make it into a fishtail dress. And you trust him implicitly, obviously? Yeah, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you drawing, Stephen? Explain Just a lady smoking. You could do a big smoking scene. When it's in the run-up to fashion week, it's about five to eight of us. But because it's a small studio, you can't really fit anybody up. But then I kind of like having, I like it when the studio's to myself. I know that kind of does me bad sometimes, working later because I've got no help and in. And how long does it take to sort of do, do a collection, create one? Well, generally, the last month before Fashion Week, we, last season we were, we went to bed at one in the morning and then got up at six for a month. Without a day off? Yeah, without a day off. You get used to it after a while, you just become yeah. a robot. It looks really physical and it sounds like the sound makes it as well. Granny's not an in sport. <laughs> it's really hard. I do try and swap my arms though. These are just stripes, so it's five, five needles knit in and then three, three not knitting, so it just creates the ladder. Yeah. It okay. just runs past it. Yeah, because if I pull them out all the way, then, and then I can flick it onto hold. So when you pull them out on the way and it's on hold, these ones won't knit. So you're kind of staggering it. It's a basic technique. It doesn't sound like it. <laughs> all right. Okay. When I'm in the middle of doing my collection, I can't really see it. So it's kind of, it's hard for me to have an opinion on it, if you know what I mean. It makes sense to me, but then I always, I'm always worried mm -hmm. that it's crap. I think it takes a new collection, me doing a new collection to Appreciate. then, yeah, see the old collection. I think it's satisfying to see it all made from an idea a couple of months ago yeah. into real life. That's the best bit. I want people to wear it, so that's how, instead of thinking, oh, will people buy it, I want them, would they wear it first yeah, 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 and then yeah. buy it. It's nice doing like the big, big show pieces, yeah. but then it's also good to actually make it, it put it into yeah, a context. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And what are your goals? Be good. Just to keep going. If we can do that, then that's good. But I would just do it the normal stitch. Oh, 
through Not it. the eight thing, just oh, just no. For me to decide a technique, I, I have to and like decide a, f a fabric that I'm going to knit with, or like a yarn. I need to have some kind of mood to start off with. So like sometimes it's like Martin Carr pictures of just colourful food and. From a degree, that was a big part of the inspiration for it, and because he took photos of like close-ups of plates, food, and like brushes and all these everyday objects. But then getting the kind of textures, kind of trying to recreate the textures through through knitting, and then that feeds into the colour story as well. Yeah, that's it. Look fresh. Well, I think I was always interested in making things and kind of creating objects when I was littler. But then, instead of just kind of being some kind of art, artist, fine artist, it made more sense to me to make stuff that had a purpose. So I think that was the, like the, the the point at which I veered off into fashion. Yeah, 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 yeah. When I was doing my foundation at LCF, I was doing menswear. But I, my portfolio then was like, it was really not menswear y because there wasn't enough tailoring in it. Because I was basically designing jersey soft pieces. And it's like that kind of mix with being able, being able to be more creative with it. Because I think, I, think I think I'm a bit of a control freak. I find it better that I can create my own fabric first instead of having to pick yeah, from something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't really know the first inspiration for fashion. Yeah. The strongest ones are like Alexander McQueen, right. like Victor and Rolf. I like the way that they think clothes being more art pieces. There needs to be volume in it, so when you tie it up in the middle, uh -huh. it scrunches up. Yeah. <laughs> That's the science behind it. <laughs> It's a Brother KH860. It's a bit of an abstract machine, really, isn't it? We're going to knit a belt. Have a belt. So you oh. can just like crunch it shut. <coughs> I think that'd be nicer. Nice. And some really baggy sleeves. Someone's asked, what do you do when you don't have inspiration? How do you work? It's kind of always coming, isn't it? And then I, I've got all my, I've got little ornaments as well. Because I buy myself a pound ornament and they're all the you know the iridescent like the iridescent like dolphins and panda bears or something little and vases inspiration. yeah and I treat myself if I'm having a good day then I'll buy myself one I don't think you really ever lose motivation I don't because I've always got the fear factor in it at the end of the day you are doing it for yourself yeah. I guess that's it <laughs> An elephant. <laughs> you should come and just film us doing an entire collection. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can maybe. just you can just see Stop my face crying. sag and sag. <laughs> so probably a size ten. Well, it would fit up to a size fourteen, I reckon. Making a bit generous, but then if they're a bit bigger, it's just going to be a bit tight. Yeah. You can almost swallow that, huh? Oh. If, if you don't model it, it's going to be bad luck. Nah. It will be. No, it won't be. It will. I won't be. Sleep as well. That's clever. It's really clever. 